Wrapping up, let's take a look at high-level design and architecture best practices. The HLD document, the high-level design document, should include one or more architecture diagrams to give you the big picture of the components and their interfaces. That might include a hardware architecture, a software architecture, network architecture. It might be some, all, or none of these. But at some point, if there's no architecture diagram, there's no way to be oriented to what the system does. The HLD should also have sequence diagrams that cover both nominal and off-nominal interactions. In other words, intended behavior, but also behavior that deals with exceptional conditions or mistakes made by users and so on. There's a fully worked example for a soda machine available in a course archive for 18-649 that goes through the entire V process using the methods described. I recommend you take a look at that for concrete examples. The HLD needs to co-evolve with the requirements. You need nouns, that's the architecture part, and verbs, that's the requirements part, to define a system. If you don't have both pieces, then you don't have a way to actually say some component does some behavior. As you do state charts, you'll find out that the transition between two states is undetermined, and that infers a missing hole in the high-level design. Some pitfalls for high-level design are Diagrams that leave out interactions. If you have a diagram that's all boxes and no arrows or the arrows don't mean anything, then you need more information to actually understand what's going on. Some high-level designs have boxes and arrows that do not have well-defined meanings or even play fast and loose with what's a box and what's an arrow. Another high-level design pitfall is putting too much detail into the HLD. The HLD should still not be saying exactly how you're building the system or writing the code. Rather, it should be an exploration of the different interactions between components so that the detailed design of each component can make sure it meets the expectation for those interactions.